Introduction Before I go into details or the cause of this book I want to outline something before we go further. Most of people, especially young people, want to get into this world of Forex market currency exchange without knowing the risks that they may face. While I don't want to scare you, but this side of business industry is not for the faint-hearted. I am saying this because I've seen most of people jumping into Forex without understanding how it works, reason being fear of missing out, they saw someone making money through it, and they think they can also do it. We all want to fit in, but not all of us will survive the challenges like to lose all the money in the account just like that. Don't expect that you can be in Forex, and then in a few weeks you are driving BMW M3, it doesn't work like that you must put all your effort and time to do it. This doesn't mean trade every day or every time, if you made $500 then tomorrow go and fill up some gaps. You know what you need. So solve problems 1st so when you come back to trading again you have good mood to make money not chasing ending a poverty. Let me not waste most of your time and go straight to business. What is FOREX? The foreign exchange market. Forex is a global market for the trading of currencies. This market determines foreign exchange rates for every currency. It includes all aspects of buying, selling and exchanging currencies at current or determined prices. In terms of trading volume, it is by far the largest market in the world. The value of one unit of currency doesn't change unless it's compared to another currency for example you compare US, DCDPY, or GBP to your When you are trading it's basically like buying or selling shares in a certain company from other country. The currency price reflects in respect of the current and the future health of the company I say you don't need to be in a meeting with a group of strangers or can be done through MT4, MT5 software or application. Broker most of people don't understand the term broker in Forex or FX. Some may think whenever we are talking about a broker we are talking about a mentor. There is a huge difference between the two. Broker is also known as a retail Forex broker, buys and sells currencies on your behalf. The benefit of having a Forex broker include 24-hour market access and the ability to speculate on currency pairs all over the world. Well to make things simpler for you a broker, it's like a bank company where you're using different bank names to keep our money depending on which bank you think it's better for you. Just like brokers, there are lots of brokers out there that you can use to trade your currencies. The very first time you open MetaTrader 4 is gonna open a demo account for you. So we don't wanna use this account. We want to link MetaTrader 4 with an account that we have with a bro. And that's it. This app might be looking very complicated at the moment, but I'm gonna break it down for you. So firstly, we have this shortcut bar down here, where you can navigate between codes, uh, charts, trade and history and these are the two that I don't even use so so let's start with codes the codes page contains trading instruments so you can see we have AUD USD US tag gold euro USD GBP USD and so on so so let's say I wanna trade GBP AUD at the moment I can see it's not here so to add it, I'm just gonna click this add icon right here, and then I can see I can just search for it. GBP AUD is here, or if you know which category it falls under, you can you can go through the categories here. So I know GBP AUD is under forex miners, so these are all forex miners, and. Then here it is i'm just gonna click on it and if i go back you can see it right here so let's say you only trade euro usd and you don't want the others you can also delete them from your codes page so you simply click this edit icon right here and click delete and mark all and mark all instruments that you want to delete so, so i'm just gonna mark all of them and unmark your usd and 
and click delete but you can see where gold is still there the reason why gold is still there is because gold is the one open on charts so if i want to remove it i'll have to to put euro usd first on charts so i'm just gonna click on euro usd and say open chart and then it shows me euro usd chart so i can go back again and click edit and delete gold just like that so i'm left with euro usd you can also open a trade on the codes chart by simply clicking on the instrument and click new order and then it brings you to this page where you have a lot of options to select before you can decide to buy or sell so i'm just gonna let's say i wanna buy with 0.2 lots to do that you can either just type it right here 0.2 or you can use this this addition buttons right here yeah and then i'm just gonna sell just yeah I just decided to sell right there so immediately after i sell it brings me to the trade page this is where my open trades are gonna be shown at the moment i only have euro usd so that's why it's the only one right here if if i could open another one another trade is gonna appear right there let me just take another pair and then i'm just gonna buy yeah so you can see we have two of them right here so now let's say i want to put a stop loss and take profit to these trades i go to codes and then select the pay i want and then open chart and when i'm on the charts page i wanna click this uh, crosshair icon right there to note the price at the certain point so maybe since this is a buy let's say i'm just gonna put my stop loss down here and my take profit right here I want to put my stop loss here so the price is 1.26825 so to put that stop loss I simply go to trade these are running trades as I said so I'm just gonna click and hold the trade that I want to modify and click modify order then I'm gonna put the stop loss so it was 6825 I think and i modify it if we go back to charts we can see we have a stop loss right away i said i wanna put it so at the same time i wanna also put a take profit up here so 1.280006 so i'm gonna come back and then click on the on the on the trade and click modify then i'm gonna simply type in the value that i i want to put my take profit just like that the other trade was closed automatically so i'm just gonna close this one i'm gonna click and hold on the trade and click close order then I'm just gonna click close with the loss and then there it is it's closed so if I go to the history tab you can see the other trade was closed in profit that's why it has this green bar on the side and then euro USD closed it manually so on the charts tab to change the time frame I simply click anywhere anywhere on the screen anywhere on the screen and then it brings this shortcut which is uh, m1 m5 m15 m30 this basically means m1 means one minute m30 means 30 minutes h1 means one hour h4 it's four hours day one is one day one week and, and month so that's how you change between time frames
and if I'd like to change colors of my bars, I simply go to settings and so I simply swipe to the right and go to settings and then I go to colors so on colors you can customize everything like I'm not gonna go through everything I'm just gonna change colors of the candles so let's say I want my bull candle to be black which means bull candle and bar up are gonna be black and then bar down is gonna be I want white yeah so that's how you change colors you can see they are changed so let's say I wanna add a trend line to my charts I simply click, click anywhere and go to this object bar right here and click add and then select the type of object that I want so I want a trend line I'm gonna click on trend line then I can simply touch and, and drag and draw this this is my trend line and I can add another one this is my other trend line yeah something like that so if I want to add an indicator to this chart I simply click ever anywhere and go for this little F icon right here and then it's gonna lead me to the indicators list I'm just gonna take a Bollinger Band and then I'm not gonna change anything I just add you can see the indicator I see so to remove, to remove it I also go to the little F icon and click delete you can see Bollinger Bands there and I mark it and delete so yeah that's it to open a real account or derive okay first of all you need to sign in and after you sign in the next phase is what i'm going to show you so let's sign in quickly make sure you're using good password make sure you write your password somewhere or save it on your phone don't lose your password okay all right um, so we are logging in the next place you want to go is click on real account and you click on create a derive account I usually advise you use Bitcoin it's easy you can buy Bitcoin from Luno you can buy Bitcoin from me you can also buy Bitcoin from Arbit app so if you want to buy Bitcoin you can meet me I'll show you how to buy Bitcoin download a wallet called blockchain wallet once you pay for vip class i'm going to add it to a private group where you can have access to people who buy bitcoin and sell bitcoin okay so you can get bitcoin instantly or you can inbox me inbox my admin they will give you bitcoin to fund your account so you click on bitcoin all right once you click on bitcoin you click on next so you, you're going to put in your name okay you're going to put in your name um name is jesse dennis all right date of birth this is my son anyway my son is just um my son is my son is now <laughs> my son was born in 2019 but okay you should know that if your age is below 2002 you can't trade the market all right so it's for 18 years and above all right so let's imagine my son is 18 right now and he was given birth in march all right so i'm going to put march 19 Son is in 2002. I put phone number, uh, let's say zero, that whatever number, just put a phone number, all right. Then you click on next, put your address, all right. It's usually advisable you put an address you have your bank statements attached to it or your utility bill 
record the NEPA bill, you put your utility bill, right? You put your address, you can Google the zip code. If you're in Lagos, just type Lagos zip code. If you're in Abuja, put Abuja zip code or Guarimpa or Festat, it's all or lucky. Put your zip code, put the state, put wherever you are. If you're in Cross River, put Cross River, put it down. Then you press next. And after this, it tells you to verify if all your identities are real. You press OK. Then you can go live. All right, you can go live. Then how do you fund your account? You click this icon here to fund your account with Bitcoin. Click the icon right there. Okay, click on cashier. It will tell you deposit, withdraw, transfer. Okay, so you can click on deposit. I don't have a real account. If I had a real account, it's going to tell you deposit with Bitcoin. You copy your Bitcoin address and you send your Bitcoin into that address. Okay. So if you want guidance, if you want mentorship on that, um, you come to us, get our VIP class, we help you go live. You can also, you can also, you can also um, use this real account, create derived real account. You can also use this called the US dollars account. When you're using the US dollars, you use your ATM for funding this, okay? Use your ATM for funding it um you can use your mastercard gt zenith bank access bank whatever bank you use so you use your us dollars but i use the bitcoin because i like to take my money quick and fast it's more faster for me all right but you can create this it's important you have these two accounts you can create this all right create a usd account you can create a bitcoin account also so make sure you do this when you want to go live all right before you go live it's important remember have a mentor who can help you, guide you, and lead you to success and being profitable daily. Come for our VIP class. Don't miss it. Enjoy free signals also on our Telegram group. So access to our Telegram link and you can take free signals and enjoy that. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Keep living with success. All right, so this is how to open your Deriv account. Link is on the description. Click on create a demo account. Then you put your details, your email. A mail will be sent to you. So just go straight to your mail, open your mail, and then you will see verify and start trading. So you click on it. And once you click on it, there will be a pop-up. You put your country, and then your password will be the next thing to put. And after that, the next thing you want to do is to open a new interface to show you your demo account of $10,000. So what you do is click on the top right, click on real, currently it's on demo, click on real, then add Deriv account. Once you click on add, you click on US dollars, that's the currency you want to be using. Click on next. So the next thing you want to do is to fill your details. As you can see, my details are there already. Timothy Opera, this and that. So next, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified when I release my next videos. Okay. So fill in your details, then tick the the, the things that needs to be ticked, and then continue. Then click on maybe letter, not now because you don't want to deposit now. Okay. Now your real account has just been created, as you can see. Now the next thing you want to do is, is to uh, go over to add a synthetic and financial account, both for real and for demo. Do the same thing, and I'm going to show you right now. So when you click on uh, any one of them, you add your password, and then you click on maybe letter, then you copy the ID. All right, you copy the ID. I just did it for the real account now. So now for the demo account, add a demo account for synthetic. You put your password, successful. You copy the ID. That's the next thing you do. You copy the ID for demo. So do the same thing for both synthetic and financial, both demo and real account. Now to add it to, to your Meta Trader, you open your app, click on this plus sign, search for the Reef Limited. This is the demo. This is the server. So do the do the same for both both demo and server then uh this is demo has just been demo has just been added 
as you can see this is boom and crash this is for synthetic you do the same thing for your financial which you're gonna see the current